What's going on guys? It's DJ Lee with Producer Hacks. Let's get right to it. What's going on guys? It's DJ Lee with Producer Hacks. I want to get into this topic of pretty much how does Pro Tools work? What's all these buttons that you're seeing on the load screen? These are all your tools. These are, these are your quick tools. Everything on here is going to help you pretty much edit all of your audio and everything you got going on on the screen in real time so i just want to run through everything that you're going to need as you're working on your project so real quick let's look at the tempo real quick so setting your tempo you go ahead and you click on this plus sign right here add tempo change this window is going to pop up and you're going to be able to literally either backspace and type in a tempo or you can just tap on your keyboard the letter t at any speed and it's going to change the tempo to how fast you tap. So if I tap fast, it's gonna go up. If I tap real slow, it's gonna go down. All right. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna slide up one one bar, and pretty much all this button does is these are your markers. So you could pretty much section off parts of your song. You can make the loop section and label it loop section. Make the next section section label it verse section. Make the next section label it bridge. That's all this is for your sections, for your for your marker. These are your bookmarks, all right? So you have pretty much better organization. Just type in whatever you want to type in at the top and hit OK, and it's going to load. It's going to save right there on the spot. So say this is the verse. I type in verse, and I type in OK. It's going to save verse right here. All right, next, if you go up, it's going to be your meters for your time signature. You have your 4-4 four, four time signature. You can always backspace, change that to 3-4. Change it to three six. Change it to uh, two three. Whatever you want to change your time signature to, this is going to be your time signature. Next, if you look up, this is your time code. How long each thing is playing for in minutes and in seconds. Then at the top is going to be your bars. How many bars is playing for? The cool thing about Pro Tools is you can change the tempo as the session's going. So I can have a hundred BPM at the beginning. Then wherever this this meter is right here if I were to change the tempo it would change that tempo at that exact spot so it would be a hundred hundred BPM to, uh, up to right here then it would be whatever I change it to right here it will remain that BPM till I put it to another change wherever else I put it all right going to the top of the screen well let's go to the left first looking at the left we have all of our boxes you can hide them you can make them show uh, if you press this arrow down here on the left He's gonna be all your hidden stuff. So if I were to tap, uh, if I were to tap on, let's say I tapped on this one right here. Oh, they're not gonna pop up while I'm recording. Cool. So if I were to tap on any of these circles, all of these hidden tracks would pop up. All right, and they would look just like these tracks. Just they would have their own qualities, whatever it is, whether it's an aux track, an instrument track, a master track, uh, a bus track, whatever it is. All right, you can hide that by pressing this. This is your groups down low. Um, going to the other side, we have your clip list. Any select the audio will pop up on that side. You can do whatever you want by right clicking on that audio. You can reveal it in the finder, reveal it in the workspace. You can export that audio. It's not going to be the mastered audio, but it's going to be this raw vocal, however it came in. All right. Scrolling on up to the top, we have your record section. This will be your record, play, stop. All right, your fast forward, rewind buttons. Very essential, you're gonna need these. This is gonna be your master meter. You can gauge your clipping. You can uh, edit what you see up here, of course. This is your transport, all right? You can also make it so that you have another one at the bottom. You can go to window and you can load up another transport at the bottom, very helpful. Next, you have your grid. You could change what type of grid mode you're looking at, whether it's full bars, half notes. You could change the grid image. A very cool quality. Every time you click on that, you will see changes on the actual board. Um, you could change from dotted to triple it, and you could change what you're reading it in. You could change if it's samples, clips, feet, frames, time codes, minutes, seconds, bars, beats, all of that cool stuff. You can nudge the clips. All right. Next, you have your time code as it's presently in motion. You could change that as well. You could change that to bars. We're on this 117th bar. You could change it to minutes and second. Very. I like to. I like to work right here, so I can see how long a song's gonna be or whatever as I'm recording it. 
Um, you can you see your computer usage, downloads, and all of that things. All of this stuff. You don't really use this too much. Moving on to the left, we have all of your tools. These are going to be your quick tools, your pro tools, quick tools. So you could change pretty much how this screen looks. So right now we're in grid mode. You can see the bars. If I were to hit slip, you would be able to slide things around without locking to bars. If I were to hit grid, let me zoom in so you guys can see. zoom in for you guys so you guys can see the bars and it's gonna jump to the bar that I put it on but if I'm on slip mode I can slide anywhere I want to in between those bars you can change from absolute and relative um, you can put you can change the spot and you can change shuffle so if I load something in onto here as soon as I drop whatever it is in it will jump right to the beginning to the beginning of the um, sec pro tool section Right here we have your waveform zoom in. Press plus or minus to change your waveform. Or you could change your zoom as well. We have the MIDI zoom out. So when you're in MIDI mode, you can zoom in and out. We have zoom memory location slots. We have your tab to transients. So pretty much if you were sampling, it would go to the first transient, the first accented transient or accented sound you they receive. You can link your timeline and your edit section. You can have, you can link your track in the edit section. And this button right here is whether your insertion follows the playback. So this is very important. If you wanna, if you don't want, if when you're recording your cursor or the constantly moving thing I'm trying to find where it is right now if that thing keeps it there it is right here so if I were to stop this audio right now then it would probably when I stop it it's gonna jump to the beginning and then when I press play again it's gonna play from the beginning but if I have this highlighted wherever I stop the track it stops there and will resume playing from right there same thing with the punch in. It will resume, I will record from, I will resume recording wherever I stop. If it's not highlighted, it will jump back to the beginning. So now, where this says link timeline and edit section, these will play according to how. So say I'm pressing play, I would have to scroll over to find the cursor. It would play automatically following where this is the whole time. It would always keep up with this. So this would be in the screen. All right, moving over, we have the automation follows edit. All right, so you could you could see the automation scrolling over. You would have mirrored uh, MIDI editing. Scrolling over, you would have layered editing. You could layer your editing. Up top is for people who like to pencil in their their lines and their automation. To the left would be our scrubber tool, our grabber tool, selector tool trim tool these are all cool, cool for editing audio dragging audio cutting audio uh, expanding audio these are all your, your tools the very essential tools you'll be using you can use one at a time or you can use all three depending on where you grab the audio from all right so let me show you that what that means real quick if I have an audio track loaded up and I'm on this mode I will not be able to chop that audio only grab it if I'm in this mode I'll only be able to cut that audio if I'm in this mode I'll only be able to expand or or Unexpand, I guess the word is. <laughs> but if I'm in this mode where I'm grabbing all three, I can do whatever I want as long as I'm grabbing it from a certain spot. From here, I could drag it, or from the middle, I can chop it up. And backspace would delete that. All right, here's your zoom, your search zoom. This is, what is this? The zoom toggle. And that pretty much is it for your screen. This plus minus right here will help you with your zoom as well. Or you could also press command uh, bracket. That's gonna help you zoom in and out on Pro Tools, Mac, uh, on a Mac if you're using Pro Tools. And this one right here is the same thing. All right. And that pretty much sums up this episode of pretty much tools and, so and shortcuts for the Pro Tools edit screen. This is your main screen. This is what you're gonna be looking at the most. I just wanna let you guys know what you're looking at when you look at this screen. If I hit command equals, I'll show you guys this screen and this is pretty much the same exact thing without 
without the pretty much the audio. So you get your same tracks, you got your master track, your audio track, your aux track, your, whatever tracks you have loaded up is going to be on this screen right here. And you can do the same exact things that you can do on your, on your previous screen right here. It's all of these, just vertical. And it's, really, it's pretty simple, so that wraps up this episode. And I want you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe right now. And stay up to date with my next videos coming out. I want you guys to stay tuned. I'm really pushing these videos. Trying to get them to you guys as fast as possible. Once again, I'm trying to stop working. So go ahead. Hit me in my Venmo. Sponsor me. Try to help me out so I could spend less time at work. Or quit work. And just give you guys these videos full time. More one-on-one -on -one tutorials to help you guys become the best audio engineers. Best producers that you guys can possibly be. Alright. And without further ado, I really want to just encourage you guys to keep going with this thing this is not an easy career audio engineering is not as easy as it as it sounds the more you practice the better you will become so keep going at it and until next time i'm out <laughs>